Hi Karen, this is Jill with Crickflix and I got your message this morning regarding the Zoe that you were working on and I'm hoping I can help you out here and hoping to understand what you're saying. Um, you gave really good instructions as what you were doing and what was happening. I believe you probably, <clears throat> excuse me, picked this image because you said it was the ballerina. That's the image I did pick. If I'm wrong, uh, I think we'll be able to figure this out anyway. I've already copied her. And remember, I, I tell people on my videos, when I say click on it and open it up, I mean do not copy it like this because I'm going to show you what happens if you copy it like that and paste it. There you have your image. Now, if I go back to the same image and I click on it once and I copy it, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste it, there's your image. Now, the reason this is important is because when I grab her and I pull her to the same size, she is not as clear. She gets very, very, very pixely. Um, so anyway, that that's number one thing. Always make sure that you open the image first. Um, I'm going to get her out of here, get her out of here. Because again, it makes her very pixelate if you copy her directly from so any one of your images. And then you can just close it out. Any image that you're going to use, click on it once and copy it when it's open. Okay, I think I've, got, I've, I've said enough there. So I'm going to close that out. Here's the image. When I move it over here, you can see all the white behind it. Now, the way I've always explained to do it is take your select trace and trace the entire image, which I believe you did correct, take off the high pass filter, and move it so everything is yellow. Whoops, like that. Then you hit trace outer edge. Then you put the box over it again, and you hit object, modify, whoops, crop. There we go. Now, when I move her over here, I still have white, like this one here. On this particular image, the reason that is happening is because I'm going to pull this really, I'm going to zoom in a lot so I can show you why this is happening. She's got all these little hairs, and if you zoom in really, really close, you can see this hair to here, this hair to here. This is connecting this piece. So when it's saying cut the outline only, it is cutting the outline around the piece and it's not cutting in here because these, these hairs are making this an outline. I, I, hope I, can, I hope you understand that because it's, it's really hard to explain. But when they're closed here, if there is not a break in there, which there isn't, even here, as fine as this looks... This is not an outline because this piece of fur is going all the way across here and closing it. So this piece will not cut out. So the way that I do that is I'm going to zoom out and, and get back out. And I, I don't know if I'm for sure if I have the same piece. Okay, there she is again. I'm going to make her a little smaller. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to trace over the entire image. Also, another thing to keep in mind, when you're tracing an image that has, for instance, she's got a little bit of white on her skirt here. It's really light pink, but if it's a true white on part of the outfit, you're not going to get it to, to trace that white because it, it's seen the white just like your white background. I don't know how to explain it. So if you ever have trouble cutting when you got a white background, that is why. Now I need to, I'm going to use my arrow to zoom in a little bit tiny more because right in here I need that to be closed. So I'm going to put one more hit. Now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to do one more. I want to make sure that's closed good. I think that'll work. Now what I'm going to do on this one, almost everything is solid. The eyes, there's nothing. There's only an open piece here and an open piece here and an open piece here. And then a little bit in a crown. I'm not concerned about any of that. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to trace the entire image. So you see all those little jig jags even in the crown? Now I'm going to put box it in and I'm going to go to object, modify, and crop. 
And when I move her over here, all that white is gone. Now, the reason, again, is because if you can make that, I'm going to go back again so you can see. If you can modify that and make all of this solid, but you have these little bit of openings, you can go ahead and crop or do it as a trace the entire piece. Um, the only time you, and the other thing you could do is if you do have some openings, just like a couple, um, modify, crop. And it's all gone. Now, these little tiny pieces here that you see, those are actually her fur. And it's outlining her fur. I like to keep those on there because that's what gives it the character when I cut it out. Um, if I went around here and I'm going to do an offset on her and I'm going to make the offset a little bit smaller so and not that small brought it down to nothing and bring it up just enough so we can see it and then I'm going to color it black and the reason I'm going to color it black is so that you can see the hair um, and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit I would not cut her out with a black outline but if you see all these jags in here that's actually her fur and it will cut out jagged like that but it's yellow in there so it's perfect um, anyway, and there are pieces that I'm going to do another sample here as long as I'm in here. If you were to do a piece, and this we'll, we're going to go ahead and use this one. I've already cut her. Um, this is a this is a um, the the contour. But if I click on the contour and I go to release compound, if there's pieces in there I don't want, you know, like uh, whoops, that didn't work. Release compound now. Okay. If you have a piece where you still have some pieces in there that you don't want, you can take and just either erase them or drag them out. And still, but I don't want to drag these out because I want to cut that white out. But I don't want to cut a whole bunch of holes in it. It looks like it's perforated. So I can just take those and cut them out. So on images that have these types of cuts in them where you want it to cut inside the arms and things like that do the entire image let's try another sample just example since I'm in here um, something that's got okay here's one I'm gonna use this one and we'll go back here whoops not back there back here that was your email Karen okay paste now I'm gonna go over here and do my trace outline and remove my high pass and I'm going to pull it in until I get it pretty solid. Now see these two little holes? I'm going to leave it like that, right? And I'm going to hit trace on the entire and the reason again is I want this piece to cut out. So I'm going to hit trace. Now I'm going to go back and look at how awful that looks. But now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go and crop it. There we go. Now if I move this away, I'm going to click off of it. And if I move her away and I highlight over that square, look at that. See, those are those little tiny pieces. I'm just going to delete them out. The reason I grab this first and move it away and then highlight, I, don't, I can't see those pieces. But if I don't do that, when I go to cut her out, all of a sudden you'll see it's cutting little tiny holes all over the face. And I don't want those. So, um, and I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to go release compound. And let's see if it pulls over any more pieces. Oh, you know what happened right here? Look at this. It released that piece of the arm, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to release the compound. So I'm going to put it back there. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll take it here. I'm going to put it back here. And then I'm going to go over here and get rid of all those little jaggies there. Cut them out. I'm going to bring her back here. And let me make sure I got all the jaggies out of there. Yep, I did. And again, bring her back here. I'm going to put this piece is a cut. I'm going to put this piece as a cut. And I'm going to put her back in there. This is if you've got, this is only in the case where you are doing, I'm going to do that white just because I like, uh, but if I highlight this and I group it and I hit up here and cut, it's still going to cut that piece out. However, if it didn't, 
when I did the trace, if it didn't make it solid and I had a whole bunch of extra garbage going on here that I don't want it cutting out because it'll shred your image, I that's how I do it. Um, I sure hope that helped. It seemed That seemed awfully complicated, but look at that. When I put her over there, well, again, this piece is going to show. if. Um, but we have this one that the white shows, and we have this one that it does not. And the reason being is I cover, did this one and cut it as the complete um, uh, trace, the full trace. All righty. Um, if you have any other questions, Karen, just let me know. But I sure hope that this helped. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.